There are 20 million people and over a million storage units in the New York, New Jersey area. The law says that if you don't pay your bill, after about 50 days, your stuff gets auctioned off. $50. And when there's an auction, there are pirates looking to find treasure. They're known as storage pirates. There's one room that I want to show you. It had a nice Tiffany box in there. And that was a sign. Something told me, get this room. Every time I get this feeling, the hairs on my arm stand up. Something's got to be in one of these bags or a box or something. I, it's, it's just bugging me. Oh, let's see. You know, some artwork. Probably a starving artist. Bedding. <laughs> this is what caught my eye right here. I want to take this bag out right here. Okay, I saw this here and I'm like, you know what? Let's see if this is all here because if this is it, it might be the gold that I was talking about. Let's go with this one first. Huh. Oh, it's Newark. What else? See this one, Tiffany. That's yeah, Newark. You can see me coming down Newark in these. How you doing, storage fellas? What's going on? You all right? <laughs> oh, that's all right. Well, I got a, at least, looks like a DJ set here. You know, sometimes in this business, you know, we have a lot of things that are pretty valuable. Sometimes not valuable to us, but valuable to other people. One poor man's garbage is another person's treasure. These people sometimes come back for their stuff and asking, you know, who bought the locker. At that point, we asked the people downstairs not to give our real identity out and our phone numbers and so on and so forth, just to call us after they leave. And maybe if we have stuff left over or personal stuff, we'll either bring it to the office. And if they're really cool, then we can sometimes sell their stuff back to them. Have you ever been confronted by someone whose locker you bought? Absolutely, many a times. There was this person that wanted their stuff back and they threatened me to come to my house. They threatened, you know, to uh, see where I was, where what I, what I was gonna be doing my next every move. And I had to call the cops and, you know, have them escorted off the property. And uh, I just told them, you know what? You respect me and you respect the office staff. I'll tell you what I paid for the room. Give me exactly what I paid for the room and it's yours. And they made a deal with the person just to take them off the property. They had uh, 48 hours to remove their stuff after I gave the locker back and it was a wash on both ends. Sometimes I don't make money on the lockers. Sometimes it's just stuff that you want to give back to the people, like their personal belongings, paperwork, pictures, people have passed away. You want to give them back that so they can have that as a memory. Taking my money again. Woody, how much for that part? In the story, if you had to buy it, it's um, probably about $149. I looked it up. $149 in the store. I'm selling for $50. That locker wasn't a lot of money. It was like $65, $75 for that. But there was a lot of stuff in that locker. There was a lot of clothes, a lot of things that were just packed inside the luggages and stuff like that. So. Oh, all right. Two to five. What's $5. No, it's uh, not even my size. Too big? Yeah. So I tell you, too oh, big. Bills. Big bills, eh, it, Lutus? <laughs> Ten dollars. It's garbage, garbage. This garbage, baby stuff. I don't know what this thing is. I can't even get it out. So weird. No way. This piece has got to be anywhere from five hundred to a grand. Could be something different on that side. I need to make some Oh, whoa. Like this is a whole unit. This is expensive stuff right here. This whole thing paid probably for all my rooms that I bought here at auction today. Thank you so much, Storage Blue. You made my day. I'll see you guys definitely in Jersey City. Call me so I can bring up more stuff. As a buyer and as a seller, I know how it feels like because my locker once went up but I paid it. Sometimes people lose their jobs. People break up their relationships. And this is why the lockers do go up. It's a natural thing that happens. Sometimes people lose things and they lose everything. Well, it's the same thing like in a fire or in the storage, you know, people have hardships and it really sucks, but 
on the other hand, you know, we try to give people back as much as I can when they're really nice people. If you could try to work with them, you do. If you can't, sometimes you just can't. You got to move forward.